Hey, what's up, guys? It is Tech Tech Bros underscore, and we are back on Firewatch. And basically, we are going to be finding the girls today. If you haven't seen this series already, you should probably go back and watch the beginning, or else you won't know anything that happened. But, um, yeah, let's just, uh, hmm. Is that a fire? I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? <sighs> I reckon so. Okay. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. These guys are about to catch our whole forest on fire because they hate us. But then again, I kind of started it. Uh, is this an electric fence? Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah, it looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh, that's weird. Yeah. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Hmm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. So there's just a random fence here, okay. Um... Huh. That's kind of weird. Maybe it's like gartering off. Oh, actually, I don't know. Um. Do I have to jump this thing? Let's let's walk back and see. Okay, there we go. So I'm guessing now I kind of have to go around something. Um. This place hey. is nice. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, oh, I yeah. thought about it, and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Wait, I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm... Damn. I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Damn, bro. That, that's how to end a conversation quick, because how awkward that is. But, uh, it's kind of the truth. So I could have said... I I've had, had a known. hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. <laughs> hey, flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before... I bounce your face off a dumpster. <laughs> it's beautiful. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no. I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. <laughs> it's funny because I kind of actually feel what they're talking about. Like, this sounds like a normal conversation, mostly. And, like, if you were actually out in the wild, you'd just be bored talking about this stuff. Uh, 
Except for like this guy must have muscles of steel being able to just run up mountains with ease and just uh and just basically go hiking all day um in the hot sun without sunscreen or anything. Even though I don't know anybody who would actually use sunscreen. Um but like this guy ha has like some good uh, strength. But um this sounds like real Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Adopt. Bucket Junior. Oh! That is peculiar. It has sentimental value. Okay. Wow. I didn't think about that until I actually picked it. Then I realized what it was talking about. It's talking about literally the dog that died. Damn, bruh. And the music's kicking in a little bit. But, like, it's kind of crazy having this, uh... Having this as a real type of like, like this would be a crazy nice job. Now that I'm thinking about it, just being able to literally sit out here, but it's a lot of work. Wait a minute, what? Oh my god, did I? Oh, okay. I'm back at the thing. I'm back at like near the start, kind of. Near the what does she have? What? She's huh. got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa. Yeah. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's forty-three. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Yeah, this is really reminding me of Life is Strange 2, because there's certain things, like in Life is Strange 2, you're going through a huge forest like this, and you can talk about certain things if you look at them and find them, like this, but like, of course, it would be like talking about like a beer can on a floor, like it's like one of those things that you can find and just talk about, and it makes it seem realistic, or you can feel like you missed a whole part of the, like a whole part of story if you don't talk about something. Or if you talk about something too weird, it can affect the whole, like, story. Which is, uh, pretty crazy. Uh, such a good, like, game development strategy, or, like, thing, to add into story games. But, uh, yeah. Let's just, uh... I'm guessing we're gonna rip out on this way. Actually, one minute. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything this way, so let me check. So the smoke's that way. Let's check this real quick. We are right here. Campfire smoke's over there. Oh, okay, so this is just down to the lake. Um, uh, I guess let's just run this way to see if we can find anything. So yeah, there's certain things that are kind of crazy in this game that like actually like there was being able to say that you don't have anybody at home like uh, that could totally change the whole story like she likes you out there and then you have to finally tell her that you have you're married basically or like I'm guessing that's like how it could go which is pretty insane that there's this whole different uh, story and I was also kind of thinking about the the job itself. This would be such an insane job to have. Um, 
Because you're basically just like left out so, here, and it's nice. How'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. <laughs> oh, wait, where does this go? Like, this says it goes back to the my place. Oh. Okay. This goes out through the canyon. Oh, okay. I think I know where we're at. This is like the area where we first met the girls. Right? Yeah. The radio was right there and the girls were over there. Okay, so let's go back and actually go near the smoke. So they've been here the whole time, but like why? I don't get the motivation about the, this these girls. Is first you have, of course, me throwing the the stereo box in the water, which isn't that motivational. I don't think. Uh, like to do something this crazy. Um, because first they broke into the lookout, and then secondly they broke the wire. But then again, I feel like the lookout could have been that one guy. Because we know for sure the the wire was done by the girls since the beer cans and the uh, the pair of undies or whatever uh, left at the wire. But like, I don't get why they would do the uh, the lookout damage. Like the or why well, don't I get why they could do it, but like the motivation isn't really there, I don't think. So I feel like the girls uh, didn't do the lookout one, and I feel like that guy might have. But then again, that guy was pretty normal, I think. Um, but I don't know. We'll kind of find out most likely, or we just won't. Um, but I don't want to put the blame for the lookout tower on the girls. Because I kind of want to see what they say they did. Like if we're allowed to... Like if the game takes us in the direction where it's like... You broke our lookout. Or like whatever. Then they say like, no, we didn't do that. We only did the wire. And then we'll kind of find out. Basically. So I kind of want to have them tell us what they did. To see like what they actually did. Instead of getting it wrong. So... There we go. I don't get why we don't have these stuff, like this stuff, written down on our maps already. But it's a cool element. Uh, huh. Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I do not know what that means. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can uh. live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Yeah, I was looking at the map, uh, kind of deciding which way it was actually towards that circle, and then I just basically, uh, I didn't really use the river, which I should have, but, uh, or well, I might have should have, because what if I went the wrong way, but, um, I used the compass right here, and then the compass I was holding my hand to find out to go west, basically. So, let's just, uh, run this way. What are you going to do when the fire season wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents... I, uh, think they always thought she could do better. And that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. 
Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Wow, that Even was those a girls love a skinny uh, dipping, I bet they're nearby. That was a seamless uh, conversation right there. Like he immediately was able to just say like there's a really nice waterfall. Without there being like a pause in between. When I let go. Um I don't see the thing of smoke though. I'm trying to look around for it, but I don't see it. Let's check where I am. Okay, let's just keep going this way, I'm guessing. Oh wait. I'm going down into the West is to the left, so I'm going down right now. Huh. Well, actually, let's see if there's anything down here. Okay, yeah, this isn't the right area. Let's go to the west now. Huh. I don't know how I'm gonna get up this waterfall, though. Um, I see this. That might be an area to go to. Let's check it out real quick. One minute, I'm gonna take a photo of this. Oh man, I wanna get this waterfall in. Uh. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. There we go. That's a nice one. Okay, let's go now. I wanted to get one of those photos in because I'm guessing there's going to be like uh, a thing of all the photos at the end that you've taken, or that you've taken, but I don't know if that's uh, correct. Or like, there's going to be a, I'm guessing there's going to be a montage or a collaboration of all the photos you've uh, took during the game. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Okay, I hope you're happy we're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us at the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all our stuff. Oh, and stealing our panties is gross. You're probably a mental axe murderer and you and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Let me know what it says. Well, they're gone for sure. The girls? I found their campsite. Someone or something tore it to shreds, and the girls left me a note behind. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Damn. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's its okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Okay, that's the end of the episode. So, damn, bro, I could have just not done any of that. But I feel like our like I feel like one of those things still could have happened. And then find boards downstairs to patch up the window. Okay. Um, don't really know where those are gonna be. Hey, Henry. Yeah. Um. What do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Uh... This isn't that hard. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see... In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. 
It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Now this can't be that hard. Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Uh. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. <laughs> Julia told you this that, This is gonna huh? be awesome to see when Look, I don't know uh, how to things. describe eyes. Happy okay. is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. I don't know if I'm gonna get, get to need? see this image when I, when I finish the game. I hope so. Wonder if I can break one of these windows up. Oh my god, I bet I can. I don't know if I should. <laughs> I probably can. I feel like the game would do that to me. Just allow me to break a window. <laughs> Oh man, I gonna try it though. I don't know if I have enough wind. Or uh if I have enough wood, I mean. I'm gonna put that in here though. Board this up real quick. I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad okay, to hear cool. you've really thought this through. The window doesn't break. <laughs> I was hoping not to have to uh, board that up. Of course. We've issued you oh a my god, that's my title. <laughs> you know, it's not really that comfy. I almost killed my it's wooden turtle. and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Day nine. Okay, that was an easy day. I got to see my turtle, which was awesome. I like how the room is like the room is changing. Yeah, Hello, Henry. Awesome. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. No way. We've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I'd never even got very close to them. Well, uh... One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yep. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. Yeah. All right, this Henry, is thanks. kind of insane how, that, how this is, like, affecting the story, which is awesome. 
Um, day 15 already, okay. So I'm just relaxing, but like, you can see how the first day, I already messed up, basically. Henry, Henry, wake up. Oh no, oh, okay, I thought my thing was broken again. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Oh no. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry. Henry. Yeah, I'm good. You see, oh, that's Karen? good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. What? Oh, my God. Oh, bruh. That's insane. I Is it can... too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find a supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Oh yeah. You know my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Yep. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing I'm going up this rope. Let's see. So, like, two weeks ago you oh. called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and... I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. Wait, so... I'm glad. Oh! Uh, look, when we got woke up, so Delilah is the one we were talking to. Job, and we I... talked to Jules. I was with this we guy. We thought we were talking to Jules, Javier. bruh. Ugh, he's incredible. Caring. Sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um... Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and Damn. for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, Damn. See, that's why. I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. I can't even respond. Okay. Okay, let's see. How to. Okay, so. Let's see here. Um. I'm right in the area. Up is this way. But like Is it really in the middle of this thing? 
Oh, is this it? There it is. Um, two forks. <laughs> oh man. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? I wonder what would happen if I took all of them. Like, oh man, there's so much decisions that could change the game. And it's insane. <laughs> like, oh. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? <laughs> you really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights mm -hmm. like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. Ooh. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. So there's a whole potential for completely wanting to go out with Delilah, I think it was. It is. Yeah, Delilah. Are you looking at the fire? Which is insane. Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. Oh, I'm man. glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. Oh, man. It'd be nice to be near somebody. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um, you know. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Oh my god. Okay, well, I think that is going to end it off here. I'm going to try to pause this real quick. Okay, so yeah, I think that's going to end it off here. Um, crazy game. Um, new episodes coming soon. And yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And peace.